This is a titi fly. Harmless in appearance, but a source of big trouble. This is poison ivy. Again, harmless to look at, and again, nothing but trouble. This is a whirlpool. Once again, attractive to look at, but murder. This is Maggie. Pretty, isn't she? <laughs> attractive woman is my wife, Ann Bradley, one of Broadway's finest actresses and one of the world's nicest people. The man is yours truly, Mark Bradley. I won't flatter myself except to say that my wife loves me. In the theater, we are rated pretty high in the category of husband and wife acting teams. I may also look familiar to those of you who have seen the television show called Life with Father. In private life, we are known and sometimes sympathized with as the parents of Maggie. You see us now on the patio of our new home in the quiet, old-fashioned little town of Hunter's Ferry, Connecticut, where we are busy making friends with our new neighbors. <laughs> I'll be sorry when she gets that wall built. Those looks she gives us lowers the temperature at least 12 degrees. Mark, dear, do you think we've made a mistake moving here? Don't be silly, darling. It'll just take a little time, and it's going to be great for Maggie. Oh, I'm sure it is. So far, she's bored to death. She's having trouble finding trouble to get into. Just... Trouble is, they don't understand me. They don't want to understand me. They're against me. Sometimes I feel as though the whole world were against me. Sometimes I feel as though you're crazy. <laughs> you're fired. Want buy a banana? <laughs> yes. Get some sleep, Maggie. Regina Carstairs would know how to handle them. Regina Car who? Regina Carstairs. She's the heroine of the book I'm writing. Regina Carstairs is the most wonderful woman in the world. What does she do? Well, she's a Hollywood movie star. But on the side, she does some detective work for the police and some international spying for the government. She's a graduate of medical school and law school. But mainly, she goes around fighting for the underprivileged. It's a documentary star, would you like to read it? I'll wait for the movie. You're fired. Sure. <laughs> Good night, Maggie. <laughs> Inspect and hush fell over the small country courtroom of Hunter's Ferry, Connecticut. Mark Bradley squirmed in the witness chair under the cold eyes of Regina Carr. Steel. Cold eyes of Regina Carstairs. Counsel for the gorgeous counsel for the defense. Then you admit you do not understand your daughter. No, no, I don't admit it. I... Did you forgive her? Well, I... Answer the I... question, yes or no. No. Are you aware of the Supreme Court ruling that to understand is to forgive? Yes. And did you forgive? Speak up, please. No. Then, ipso facto, Your Honor, and e pluribus unum, I submit that the witness has admitted lack of understanding of his daughter. Brilliant strategy, Miss Carstairs. <laughs> No woman, Regina Carstairs. You are a she devil. Never crowd your exit. I object to defense counsel's dress. Oh, I apologize to the court, but I rushed here from the Academy Award dinner and barely had time to put my Oscar on the mantle, let alone change clothes. <laughs> Objection overruled. Incidentally, Miss Carstairs, you were wonderful in that part. La plume de mon oncle est sur la table. That's French for, buddy, you're in big trouble. Call your next witness, prosecutor. Miss Caldwell. How are you going to handle her? She's a tough witness. Watch. Will you 
stand up, please? I object. What is counsel trying to prove? Only this. Washington and tell him Regina says, come and get Slippery Stanley Maxwell. Amazing. How did you know? Elementary. I got suspicious when I found a cigar butt with lipstick on it in the ladies' washroom. <laughs> Great. Woman. It's ten o'clock, Babykins. Lights out. Babykins. Next time I get you on the witness stand, you won't get off so easy. Sure. Good night. <laughs>